On today's show, you will see a spectacular golf course and hopefully our winning golf champion rolling in a putt for a gorgeous Buick Envision. Plus, I'm going to help you with your pitching game. Believe me, you won't want to miss the excitement next on Winning Golf. It's got a chance. Could it be? It's in the cup. Wow. Winning golf, that's what we play. It's in the hole. Working on that short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. Because with Winning Golf, oh, it's in the cup. everybody wins. That's right. Everybody wins. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today, Winning Golf comes to you from the spectacular Old York Road Country Club. And joining me today from McGill and Architecture is my dear friend, our host, Howard Leibold. And Howard, first of all, welcome back to Winning Golf. And Howard, today we have a terrific venue here at Old York Road. We have a fun and talented group of contestants today. And I have a lot of prizes to give away, Howard. So I'm hoping your team is fired up. Uh, we're excited to be back, Doug. Um, it's a highlight every year when we come out to do your show. It's a great way for us to uh, thank our clients and our consultants for trusting in us to work with them. And so um, I'm sure we're going to produce some great highlights for you today. Well, Howard, thank you for your kind words. And I've got one question for the group. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Awesome. Boy, I love that enthusiasm. Now, our first skills challenge is going to be with Ronald Bagley and Peter Conklin. And guys, it's a chipping contest and it's a team contest. Here's the game. One of you will face a chip shot from 30 feet. Right? The other player will hopefully roll in the putt. So we're trying to get up and down. If you're successful and get up and down, then you win a prize. And what a prize it is. How about a gift certificate to PJ Will hands, everybody? Oh, Sound awesome? Oh, hey, all right. All right. Awesome. Very nice. All right, so let's get ready to chip and putt. Okay, Pete and Ron are ready, and after a deep discussion, it looks like Pete Conklin will hit the chip shot and hopefully leave his partner, Ron Bagley, with a makeable putt. And look at this shot by Pete Conklin. That's a nice shot. Looks like about six feet below the cup. Well done. Well, Ron Bagley has about eight feet up the hill. Let's see if he can roll it in. Beautiful setup, and we got a, oh, we got a winner. Great putt by Ron Bagley. Well, Ron and Pete, congratulations. That was a great up and down. And now both of you will get to enjoy a fun evening at one of my favorite hangouts, PJ Well Hands, guys. I hope you enjoyed the contest. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, fellas. Well, as you can see, this McGillan team knows how to play some winning golf. And the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, the breathtaking Old York Road Country Club. Old York Road Country Club, an historic private club located in Ambler, Pennsylvania, first opened its doors as a nine-hole facility in 1910. The 3,000-yard course, designed by Jimmy Lang, was constructed on 67 acres and rented from Abington Friends Meeting. In 1962, Old York Road Country Club faced its most daunting challenge ever. As the trustees of Abington Friends Meeting, in order to support its expanding school, requested that Old York Road Country Club relocate. After a detailed search, the committee purchased a 126-acre Bennerbrook Farm located in Springhouse, Pennsylvania. The new and gorgeous 18-hole track was designed by the famous Gordon Brothers and opened its doors on July 4, 1963. The pristine layout, which presently is undergoing a full bunker restoration project, measures 6,600 yards from the tips and demands precise approach shots as well as a solid putting game to battle the fast and undulating greens. The course was built in 1963 and the bunkers obviously were built when the course was open and they haven't been touched since then with the exception of adding sand here and there but you know the golf course needed a restoration and we did the back nine this this off season and we have plans to now do the rest of the golf course this off season coming up and the members couldn't be more happy with how the project came out. The golf course is in wonderful condition and aesthetically it's it's great to even just look at. Our superintendent Darren Farrar and his staff have just done a remarkable job with this course and we would put it up against any course in the Philadelphia area. The top-notch golf operation offers many first-class amenities including a professional PJ golf staff, a well-stocked pro shop, private instruction for men and women, a dynamic tournament program, a popular junior program, and state-of-the-art practice facilities. 
The practice areas include a spectacular driving range featuring a 27,000 square foot grass teeing area and five target greens, a popular short game center, plus a 3,700 square foot putting green always in mint condition. In addition, Old York Road offers an on-site indoor hitting bay equipped with a TrackMan golf simulator. Finally, to top it off, members of Old York Road Country Club through a reciprocity agreement can also enjoy golf and amenities at both Indian Valley Country Club and Great Bay Country Club, two elite golf clubs in the region. Of course, this exquisite private club offers much more than just a memorable golfing experience. Families can enjoy delicious food and fun events around the beautiful swimming pool throughout the summer. The historic clubhouse provides seven unique dining venues, offering casual dining in a relaxed atmosphere, as well as elegant formal settings for special celebrations. The spectacular York Tourist seats up to 200 guests and offers great views of the gorgeous gardens and golf course. Another popular venue is the Manor Pub, which seats up to 100 people and includes beautiful wood high top tables and large screen televisions. Our food and beverage operation is under the auspices of Jose Garces and his group. Uh, he has brought a, a, a terrific level of variety to our, our food and beverage and we are excited about what's to come there. One thing is for sure. The dedicated clubhouse and culinary staff are committed to flawless coordination and personal attention to every detail, guaranteeing delicious cuisine, great service, and a truly memorable occasion for any size event. To learn more about membership opportunities or to schedule your special event, please call 215-643-0180 or check out the web at oyrcc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Peter Conklin, Dan Bozen, Keith Marshall, Joe Shorn, Barrett Dunnigan, Tom Reed, Ron Bagley, Howard Liebold, Margot Barnes, Ian Kramer, Michael Budson, Scott Karpiak, Steve Krumenacker, Mike Hanna. Our players are set for Doug's FootJoy lesson tip and shoe contest. FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. Today's FootJoy contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to discuss a very common mistake made in the pitching game. Part two, Barrett Dunnigan's going to put my pitching tip into action. And part three is the FootJoy contest where all of you will get to hit a pitch shot and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. You ready for this, everyone? How about a gorgeous pair of FootJoy shoes, the number one shoe in golf, yeah. is that awesome? Yeah. Nice. What a great prize. So the common pitching mistake that many of my students make is simply not turning or rotating through the shot when they're finished. In other words, they're not facing the target when they're done. And I believe this mistake happens for two reasons. Number one, many players take too long of a backswing. And when you get up to here, your brain says, uh-oh, if I finish all the way, it's going to fly over the pin. So the reaction from players is they decelerate. In most cases, they either chunk it or hit part of the ball and skull it across the green. So the second reason would be similar. This is a short pitch shot. So many players mentally don't believe you have to finish because their ball doesn't have very far to travel. But if you want to hit a high soft shot, it's absolutely crucial that you end with your body facing that target. A chip shot comes out low. But if you want to hit it high, you must rotate and finish facing the target. Sound like a plan, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, before we get to our very exciting foot joy contest, I would love for Barrett Dunnigan to come up and put this tip into action. Barrett, thank you for helping out. How a nice applause for Thanks. Barrett. Barrett. Seems like a great guy. All right, so, so Barrett, let's get into the uh, setup here. Ball position is going to be in the middle. We're going to choke down on the club. Good. And I'm going to ask you to bump a little weight into your front leg. Good. All right. Excellent. Now, I want you to bear it to think about your backswing. If you take it back too far, you won't be able to finish. Correct? We want to be able to accelerate at the bottom and turn and face that target. Okay? I'm going to step back with this wonderful McGill and team. When you're ready, Barrett, let's hit a nice soft pitch shot onto the green. Oh, look at this shot, everybody. Whoa. That is a thing of beauty. Well, Barry, congratulations. It was a terrific pitch shot. I hope you learned a lot today. I did. Thanks for the tip. You're quite welcome. Hey, everybody, you ready to try to win a pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. 
For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf Professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to doug at rdhgolf.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our Foot Joy contest features a 25-yard pitch shot from the rough with a right-to-left break. Tom Reed is up to the challenge. Oh, right over the lip of the hole. What an effort by Tom Reed. Margot Barnes pitches it well. Margot Barnes bringing it high and soft, and that's a pitch shot by Margot Barnes. Well done. Mike Hanna is the first to less than 10 feet away. Mike Hanna bringing it high, and title is thanks you. <laughs> Thank you. Howard Liebold pitching a gem to about four feet. Our host with a 56 degree club, and look at this touch by our host. That's terrific golf by Howard Liebold. Well done. But Keith Marshall takes the shoes with this amazing shot to one foot 10 inches. This could go in the hole. Oh my goodness. Well done, Keith Marshall. <laughs> Keith, congratulations. Thank you. That beautiful finish you had led to a perfect pitch shot. So now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of FootJoy shoes, the number one shoe in golf, my friend. But the question I have for you right now is this. How would you like to add an amazing driver to those new FootJoy shoes? That would be great. Well, I love your enthusiasm, and I hope you get the opportunity when Winning Golf returns. FootJoy has been the number one shoe on tour for 75 years. We were innovating then, and we continue to innovate today. And this whole time, we've had one simple goal, to elevate our game so you can elevate yours. We build gear for every player, every swing, every stance, and everywhere you might play. Well, maybe not there. The fact is, we're passionate about progress and this is the best our game has ever been. So why don't you come play with us? Oh, that spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure, it's wireless. Pick something we all like. OK, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger. That's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry, I used to hate parallel parking. Me, Me too. too. Hey. Really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all new Buick Envision, an SUV built around you, all of you. The moment of truth. Justin Thomas, who has the team. The precise point in time where preparation becomes performance. Where all that has been invested is rewarded. And when that moment arrives, you either believe in what you bring to the team, or you don't. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Vokey SM8 Wedges. Know your letter, hit your number. Vokey SM8 Wedges. And by Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. Ahead. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Titleist Challenge. Titleist, the choice of the world's best. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, everyone, in our next thrilling contest, one of you could take home the hottest driver in the golf industry, the Titleist TSI. How's that sound? Yeah. What an amazing prize. So here's the deal. Our amazing host, Howard Liebel, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will have two chances to roll in a putt from only 10 feet, if successful. He or she will take home an amazing title as TSI driver. So the excitement is building, right? Yeah. And speaking of excitement, Howard, who's our lucky contestant today at the See beautiful Old York Road Country Club? Who is it? Um, my knees are shaking, Howard. Who we have here? Margo Barnes. Margo Barnes. <laughs> Welcome, Margo. Come on up here. All right. So here's the deal. I think you know the game. I'm going to give you two chances, Margo. If you roll one in, you are the new owner of a Titleist TSI driver, the hottest driver in the golf industry. You up for the challenge? I'm up for it. Awesome. Thanks. Let's go make a putt. Okay. Okay, Margo Barnes has two chances to roll in a 10-foot putt. If successful, Margo will add a Titleist TSI driver to her bag, just like I did this season. So here it comes. It's going right at it. It's in the cup. What an amazing putt for a TSI driver by Margo Barnes. Margo, Margo Barnes, congratulations. That was an amazing putt under an awful lot of pressure. You had a gallery around you. The camera was rolling. An amazing prize on the line, and you still rolled in that 10-footer. Margo, 
I'm guessing you enjoyed this contest. I loved it, Doug. Thank you. <laughs> well, well done, Margo. Well, thanks to Titles, we just gave away an awesome prize. And the great news is this. We still have a ton of wonderful prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features a 40 foot uphill chip shot that Barrett Dunnigan handles nicely. Barrett Dunnigan and bringing it in. And look at this touch by Barrett. Well done. Joe Shorn chips his ball to just over four feet away. Moving from right to left. Look at this touch by Joe. That is pin high. Well done, Joe Shorn. Tom Reed is an inch closer with this shot. Tom Reed with a nice setup, 56 degree wedge. That's an excellent touch by Tom Reed, well done. Peter Conklin looks to take the round with this chip to three feet, eight inches. That is nice and soft and pin high. Pete Conklin, well done. But our foot joy winner, Keith Marshall, plays more winning golf with this shot to three feet to take the round. Look at his touch by Keith. He's on fire today, Keith Marshall. Up next, Dan Bozen leads the charge with this 30-yard uphill pitch from the heavy rough. Right up the hill, and look at his touch by Dan. That's a beautiful effort, Dan Bozen. Mike Hanna pitches his ball to less than six feet. And that looks to be pin high, and that's a great effort, Mike, well done. Howard Liebold has a good short game. That's about pin high. Look at that touch by Howard Liebold. Our host is just over four feet from the cup. Tom Reed dancing his ball to three and a half feet. Tom Reed bringing it high and soft. Look at his touch by Tom. And that is winning golf, Tom Reed. But the shot of the round belongs to Steve Krumenacker. Steve Krumenacker from 30 yards with a pitching wedge. And boy, that is in the money. Well done, Steve. Two feet away, he takes the round. Round three tests the putting skills with this 25-footer that Scott Karpiak reads well. Scott Karpiak. Michael Budson shows off his putting skill. Michael Budson with a beautiful setup and a beautiful stroke. Look at his putt by Michael. Oh, right over the high side. Ian Kramer has a smooth stroke. Beautiful touch by Ian. Boy, that's well done, Ian. Great stroke. Ron Bagley sets the mark to beat at a foot away. Ron Bagley's got a chance. Oh, what an effort by Ron Bagley. No problem for Margot Barnes. And a beautiful touch by Margot. It's got a chance, Margot Barnes. Oh, what a putt by Margot Barnes. Not to be outdone is Joe Shorn. Move it from right to left, Joe Shorn. It's in the cup. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's two in the cup. Can Dan Bozen make it three? This one's got a chance. Dan Bozen's got a chance. Yeah. It's in the cup. He drains it as well. And Bozen also takes the round in a putt off. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks, brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor celebrating 16 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. On the tee today, I would like to show you a putting drill that I believe will help you to cope with the pressure when facing those nerve-wracking three to five foot putts. I call this drill the box drill. I simply set four golf balls around the cup about three feet from the hole. Then I try to walk around and make four putts in a row. If successful, then I enlarge the box to four feet and start the cycle again. Now here's where the pressure comes in. If at any time during the cycle I miss a putt, I have to go all the way back to the beginning. First three footer. Okay, we got one in. Now a little right to left down the hill. I get two in. And now I have a left to righter, which is always the most challenging putt. Stay very still. And that's in the hole. Well, I've made three in a row and I've got one left. And here's where I believe it's better to create pressure during your practice time. So when you have a match, you're ready to go. Let's see what happens. Well, that's the consistency I'm looking for. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with a 15-yard pitch from Heavy Rough. 
Peter Conklin pitching it well to less than five feet from the pin. Look at this touch by Pete. Good effort, Pete Conklin. Scott Karpiak hits a tremendous shot to three feet away. Look at this touch by Scott. That's winning golf right there. Ian Kramer is a couple of inches closer with this fine effort. Ian Kramer bringing it high and soft. Look at this touch by Ian. That is a beautiful golf shot. Steve Krumenacker is the first to less than two feet. Moving from left to right. Look at this touch by Steve, and that is winning golf, my friend. Well done. Joe Shorn grabs a spot in the final with this gem to 10 inches. Look at this shot, Joe Shorn. It's got a chance to go in, and that's the effort we're looking for. But check out Howard Liebold's amazing shot. Howard Liebold with a 54 degree wedge. Howard Liebold, it's in the hole. What a shot by our host, Howard Liebold. He pitches it in to take the round. Our host, Howard Liebold, graciously gives up his spot in the final to third place finisher, Steve Krumenacker. So it'll be Shorn and Krumenacker in our Belfour up and in playoff to determine this week's champion. That's ahead when winning golf returns. There's only one most trusted. There's only one most consistent. There's only one most advanced. There's only one number one ball in golf. Look at this shoe that doesn't look like a golf shoe that performs exactly like a golf shoe. This thing is tuned for the game. Who would have thought wrapping your foot in comfort could also mean you'd have powerful support? And who would have thought that with every move you make, it would move with you? Okay, well, if you're already thinking that, then who would have thought a golf shoe that can do all this would look like that? Prizes and tea gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Bushnell. Unleash your inner DJ with the new Bushnell Wingman. Titleist Golf Balls. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. Scotty Cameron Putters. Scotty Cameron, the choice of champions. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Welcome back to Winning Golf. We're all set for our Belfour Up and In Playoff. Belfour Property Restoration. Restoring more than property. We are on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a beautiful championship trophy, and the chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous Buick Envision. Now the rules for the Belfour Up and In Playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the Belfour up and in playoff will be a 30-yard pitch shot from the fairway. Joe Shorn will have the honors. Joe carries a seven handicap and plays most of his golf at Apple Cross Country Club. That's an excellent touch. Looks to be about eight feet behind the cup. And now it's Steve Krumenacker's turn to try and battle this very challenging 18th green here at the beautiful Old York Road Country Club. Steve owns a 12 handicap and enjoys his golf at the beautiful Cedarbrook Country Club. And look at these shots by the two finalists. What a great shot, about six feet from the hole. Joe Shorn is away, so he will putt first. About 10 feet down the hill. It's going right at it, it's going right at it. What a pressure putt by Joe Shorn. Unbelievable too. Well, Steve Krumenacker has six feet. If he can roll this in, we'll have a chip off to determine our champion. Let's see what happens. Beautiful setup, beautiful putt, and look at that pressure putt by Steve Krumenacker. Unbelievable. That is winning golf by both finalists, and we're headed to a chip off. And now our Belfort up and in playoff comes down to one shot from 30 yards. Steve Krumenacker will go first, and Charlotte Nessel won close to the hole. And he hit maybe a little behind it. It's a good shot, but he looks to be about 15 feet from the hole. So Joe Shorn has a little breathing room here. He's got his sand wedge again, his favorite club. And he needs to get it inside of 15 feet to become the winning golf champion here at the beautiful Old York Road Country Club. And it's going past, and boy, we may have to measure this one. Let's see who wins. Joe Shorn is 18 feet 4 inches, and Steve is 17 8. So Steve Krumenacker is our winning golf champion here at the beautiful 
Old York Road Country Club. Well, Steve Krumenacker, congratulations on becoming the winning golf champion here at the beautiful Old York Road Country Club. And boy, Steve, we never had a finals better than that. You both hit pressure shots, and of course, you hit the big shot when it counted in the chip off. Congratulations. I hope you had a great experience with winning golf. Thank you, Doug. It was a great day. Perfect weather, wonderful group of people to play with and talk to, and a, and a fantastic host in Howard. Just a terrific day. So well, thank you. Well, thank you, Steve. Well, your great day could become even greater because in a couple minutes, my friend, I'm going to give you the opportunity to putt from only 60 feet for the keys to a gorgeous Buick Envision. Steve, we would love to see a miracle here at Old York. Yeah, Road. me too. I'll do my best. Well, we got a good feeling about it, my friend. Thank you. Well, whatever you do, don't leave your seat because I think Steve has a chance to roll this in. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. Pick something we all like. OK, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger. That's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry. I used to hate parallel parking. Me too. Hey. You really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all-new Buick Envision, an SUV built around you, all of you. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the Buick Envision at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Putt. Each week, our Winning Golf champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous Buick Envision. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We're on the gorgeous putting green here at Old York Road Country Club. Today's winning golf champion, Steve Krumenacker, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll in this putt, Steve will win the key and a two-year lease to a spectacular Buick Envision. Steve Krumenacker, he's got the line. The speed looks good. This one's got a chance. Steve Krumenacker is giving it a run, and what an effort by our winning golf champion. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's exciting show from the beautiful Old York Road Country Club. I would personally like to thank the entire Old York Road staff and membership for their warm welcome and amazing hospitality. Also, very special thanks to my terrific host, Howard Liebold, and his McGillan Architecture team. Well, for me, it's time to work on my pitching game, and yes, I promise I'll be working on my finish. Hey, thanks for watching Winning Golf. I'll see you all next week. Everybody